said there's three things you never talk about in public. Religion, politics, and money. There's this view in life that you can believe whatever you want to as long as you keep it to yourself. Freedom of beliefs is fine as long as that freedom is kept locked up and chained away in your private life. Where did this come from? Why are people so against the sharing of beliefs? You know, there's this animosity that builds up causing division and separation in friends and families anytime these topics are discussed. And so the answer has become, we simply don't talk about it. You believe what you want, I'll believe what I want, we'll keep quiet about it, and we'll live our happy little lives. Once upon a time, community was built upon, nurtured, and grew through the sharing and discussing of beliefs and ideas. As Christians, our faith isn't something to keep to ourselves. The gospel isn't just meant for me as an individual, it's meant for the whole world, and so we are called to share this good news with everyone. But when we share our faith, we must check our motivation. Sadly, some Christians have focused so much on trying to convert people to Christianity that they've cared very little for the person themselves. They simply are almost trying to get people on their team, so to speak. And because of this, people have started to close off towards people sharing their faith. Anytime someone brings up Jesus, there's this eye roll and let's close this conversation and move away because I feel uncomfortable. And people sadly feel like they're just being spoken to without being given an opportunity to be heard themselves. Judgment and condemnation with very little compassion. That's the gospel people have heard. And sadly, it's so far from God's word. It's so contrary to the truth of the gospel. I think that people are simply after the authentic. You know, there's this awesome quote that says, people won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So the question is, why do we share our faith? What is the motivation behind telling people about Jesus? The most well-known, most quoted verse in the Bible is John 3:16, And this one verse summarizes the whole truth of the gospel so simply. And the key motivation behind it is love. You know, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but to save them. I think sometimes we've heard this verse so many times we almost turn off our brains when we hear it. And we forget the truth of that message. God's love for us. So when we share our faith with others, we are simply sharing the love of God with them. You know, how selfish do you have to be to keep that to yourself? The whole point of the gospel is that God's love is for everyone. And the only way people are going to know this is by sharing it. Sharing your faith isn't about being right. It's not about convincing someone of their sin. It's not about judging or pointing fingers at who's right and who's wrong. Sharing your faith is simply about sharing the love that God has for us. God's love was put into action. Love's not meant to be locked away or hoarded and kept to yourself. Love is meant to be shared with the whole world. And let's be honest, our world so desperately needs love. So before you try and impress people with your knowledge of the Bible or evangelize to people on street corners, check your motivation. Share your faith. Be motivated by love.